Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Ankit Math Magics. This YouTube channel is all about the preparation for the GMAT, SAT and the GRE exam. So right here we have a really interesting maths problem based on the concept of algebra that is x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 5 by x minus 6 and x plus 1. This is equal to 144 and we will have to figure out a way to solve this for the value of x. Now the main challenge at hand in these kind of problems is that if we go by the sequential order then this would be really difficult to solve these conventional problems because of the simple reason that this will uh, end up in the power of 4 that is this is a biquadratic equation so in a way we'll have to first figure out a way to kind of pair the values properly so we will be going by the alternate pairing so we will be pairing this these two numbers and these two numbers so that means the value of x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 6 now this can be written as x square minus 6x plus 2x minus 12 so this will be equal to x square minus 4x minus 12 this is the first part right here and the second grouping is x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 1 so let's multiply this so this is x square plus x minus 5x minus 5 so this is x square minus 4x minus 5 so as you can see we have uh, done the grouping on the concept simple concept that after multiplying at least some part of the equation should be same so that means now the original question can be written as x square minus 4x minus 12 multiplied by x square minus 4x minus 5 is equal to 144 now to further simplify these kind of problems the next task that we do is to substitute this particular part which is common in both the equations as p so let us suppose that the value of x square minus 4x is taken as p so the advantage of doing this will be this will be p minus 12 multiplied by p minus 5 is equal to 144 so now all we have to do is just solve this value find the value of p and then resubstitute it into this part to calculate the value of x so this will be p square minus 5p minus 12p plus 60 and let us shift this 144 to this side this will be equal to 0. So this implies that p square minus 17p plus rather minus 144 minus 60 this will be 4 14 minus 6 is 8. So here we have a situation where p square minus 17p minus 84 is equal to 0 so now we will have to figure out a way to factorize this part here so as we know 84 can be written as 24 mul 21 multiplied by 4 so p square minus 21 p plus 4 p minus 84 will be equal to 0 so this implies that p taken as common so p minus 21 plus 4 taken as common p minus 21 is equal to 0 now let us solve this further so this will be p plus 4 multiplied by p minus 21 is equal to 0 so that means this can be individually written as p plus 4 is equal to 0 and p minus 21 is equal to 0 now the value of p is x square minus 4x so x square minus 4x plus 4 is equals to 0 and x square minus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0 so in this case the value of x will be minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2 and in even this case this will be x is, x is equals to minus b plus minus square root b square minus of 4ac that is 84 divided by 2ac so in this case the value of x comes out to be 2 which is the first answer and in this case this will be x is equal to 4 plus minus square root 64 plus 18 6 4 10 this will be 100 divided by 2 and then we solve this you get the value of x so i hope that this video was informative enough and for more such videos on gmat sat and gre don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much for watching